so this is the second test for my solar solar energy. Wow. Um, okay, so I've got my satellite dish lined with mylar. I've got it out in the sun. The sun is disappearing quickly, but there's some interesting stuff going on. Uh, the water in the jar, there's a half quart of water in there. It's coming to a boil. It's bubbling pretty good. Um, I've got the whole thing sitting on a block of wood, so what you're seeing is a lot of smoke and some steam. I wish the block wasn't smoking because then you'd see how much steam was coming out. But um, there's a lot of refining to do. I'm losing all the energy coming up from the bottom of the satellite dish because I've got a piece of tin foil there trying to protect that block of wood. Um, but even with all that, the water's coming to boil. There's some interesting stuff going on with the boiling water. There's almost like these little funnels of boiling water that are created since the since the energy creating the boiling is coming from all around it or at least from the whole front it's not sitting on a burner oh that's amazing the bubbles instead of instead of the bubbles coming up from the bottom as they do in a frying pan or in a in a in a soft pan then the bubbles are coming up from the middle of the they're coming up from all different places it's really unusual Anyway, so it works, brings water to a boil. Now I just need to hook up a, um, well, I need to get a closed container so I can harness that steam with a line coming off of it that leads to some kind of air tool. Um, and then I can turn that steam, that solar energy into kinetic movement. And then after that I can turn, I can get a converter and turn the kinetic energy into electrical energy that you'd use to feed the grid. So anyway, it's a step.